she's sick. Oh, okay. she's sick. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> start. Yeah. All right. Call to order. Roll call. Okay. 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 Delic. Yeah. Meyer. Yes. Here. Here. What else? Here. Thanks, up. Yes. Approved meeting minute, 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 minute minutes of 23. No, we're not approved meeting minutes at the special meeting. Yes. That one's probably an old one. Okay. This is August 7th. Um, yeah, I know it says August 7th. All right. Approve the agenda. The motion. So the second. second. Motion second. Mm -hmm. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Citizens input. Mm -hmm. None. Old business. VMEU. So we're having a combined meeting. It's legal now all of a sudden. Or? Well, this was primarily going to be the uh, communication thing, but yeah. because this part's under the electric, I put it in there this way. All right. So the, the update, I guess, uh, these gentlemen are from FAR, technology, and ones from uh, Central Cable. Right. Okay. So they're, they're here to just provide you an update on uh, what they're doing and what's going on. So as of right now, we got uh, 14,000 feet of duck in the ground for the ring fiber. And we're working our way into the CO, the hut from the east side. We're coming down uh, 4th Street starting Monday of next week. And none of that duck work is in the homes yet? No, we have two drops to the house, actually. You've done two? Yeah, we've done two. We just started yesterday. We'll have about another, another five down today. So. And that just goes up just to the, just outside where the, yeah, yeah, the five still, where they're going. Yeah, the, the box on the house. Yeah, there's no NT housing. That's right. your typical. But there's a box outside. outside. You're, yeah. you're going to an outside box. Yeah, it's a right. clamshell, they call it. There's yeah. one in the office there if you want to see. It's great, about that big. And that's where the drop will wind up going to. Even is the only place then until we have a site survey, okay. so the landlord has been notified yeah. on this. Okay. Yeah. Patriot, uh, make sure that somebody's there for the site survey so they can find out if there's anything unusual. Uh, we got one customer that's got a geothermal system out in the yard that won't be located except by him. And uh, then they decide what's the best location to uh, eventually put the inside equipment. But, they try to put the clamshell a lot of times where the electrical is going in already. So it's mounted in the same location if it works. So. And I asked you yesterday on the site surveys and stuff, so how many do they still have to go check on? Well, there's uh, probably 1,450 that have signed up so far. And we've got, what was it, 350 then? 138. 138 then. Surveys? Yep. That's our basic so you got a lot, a lot of left to go. Yeah, they're trying to keep ahead of uh, the drop crews in that now. Yeah. I think a lot of times, uh, from what I know from Patriot, is they're going to give a list, I think, to Newtown or somebody, about the attempts. Yeah. Eventually, and that happens everywhere. Right? There's just some you just can't get a hold of. We don't dare move forward until we get a hold of them. So, and for, uh, you know, we have that's typical for this kind of project. And you're calling the, the house, right? Yeah, every contact number we have, yeah. or email, or so any information we have from from you guys, we're using or Patriots using. That. I, I think there's been an effort there where they've uh, sent emails out to uh, ninety some people. This might have been yesterday, and they basically told them to go ahead and contact uh, Patriot and, and try to schedule something because mm -hmm. uh, uh, it might be easier for them to contact. The gallets doing all the calling, but they're trying to go the other way around. So I don't need to panic yet. You no. don't have your jet? This is typical. Yeah. So, no, yeah, they're going to be doing sites. I've been waiting for two time. weeks. I know. Well, I've, I've been been watching them. I've thought about stopping several times and asking where they've been. You <laughs> <laughs> drive the white car. White car. <laughs> I've, I've been by them. I've been by them several times, checking on what they're doing. When I see the old trucks and stuff. Well, they haven't called the police on you yet. Well, not yet. <laughs> so, of that fourteen thousand, then, what you got any idea what percentage that is for the main? For the ring fiber? Yeah, it's probably almost half. 
yeah. we gotta once we get to the CO we gotta go east and then and then down by towards down with high school to complete the ring. So how many how many crews are doing the main? They have two main crews going on right now. They have a third year but they're down two backs, so the third will start next week. And then the drop crews you're gonna have how many? We have one right now. One and two next week. Okay. Pretty good going so far. Any rock issues? Anything? That's been pretty good. Normal issues. Yeah. No rock. We haven't gone to the northeast part yet. Where that's where you think it is. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, everybody's been keeping up with the low pants for you. Yeah. I've heard him. So that uh, these guys are the local guys. So. So you're telling us that everything's going pretty much according to schedule. Yes. And the schedule was to do 800 and some by the end of the year, or nearly that many? Well, we contracted for 888 initially, mm -hmm. and uh, that was before we started getting anybody right. uh, signed in to do the sign-ups. So. so the question is, is that still a reasonable amount to get done by the end of the year? Uh, oh, know. yeah. But again, I think the big thing is the 1400 is only dropped the house. How many of those 1400 will actually take service that's still the mm -hmm. yeah but yeah I mean as far as our schedule goes no there's we're right now schedule good and those are extra those are change orders then over the 888 it will be eventually what we wanted the Patriot to do is get a feel for how long it's taken them so that they can reprice the future ones uh, once they get past it hopefully I know they, they said the first week or so it, it took them a little bit to get into the groove and, and uh, do that stuff. So I think it's going a lot smoother uh, right now. So hopefully uh, it'll work out well. We can continue to do whatever we need done. So you mentioned doing five today was your goal. Um, five, would that be an average rate on a day or is that a big day or? Short day or per crew? Five drop. Yeah, per crew. Five. Yeah, five drops. Five yeah. drops. Yeah. Wow. That's that's pretty much on target. You're trying to that'd be great if you could do five yeah. every day per crew. Per per crew, yeah. Okay. And then as you know, as the numbers increase, we also have the capabilities of bringing in additional crews as well. Sure. But again, we have to make sure that Central doesn't go ahead of site surveys, otherwise they're correct. I don't know. But uh, basically, you know, Central's very good. Um, they could do more if we had everybody say everybody signed up they could go house to house to house but right now with and again this is typical with every project then we have to go kind of around back and forth five or six is pretty good so, so is this zone thing still going then or is that later on for the actual sign up sir are we working zones we are working zones patriot was told to do the red and yellow and orange i think based on what you guys feedback with <laughs> They're doing the red because the red is where the pod is. Mm -hmm. They want to expand out of there. So I, I don't know. I think we still need to revisit. Uh, you know, everybody. We got good signups for the site surveys. It's, uh, what are we going to do when people start signing up for services? And, and I'd like to allow them to do it as efficiently and easily as we can, rather than not worry about what color zone we're doing. But if you have majority of people signed up in a certain zone, it would make oh, yeah. sense well, that there yeah. was it would be zone yeah. sensitive that way. Yeah. Yeah. And that's after the ring is done. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've got like promotional marketing. Yeah, I mean that was kind of our big thing of like, hey, let's get people signed up in each zone so we can start there. Right. <laughs> I, I don't want to really stray from that. I'm in the yellow zone, so let's just start there. <laughs> <laughs> I think the green is where the northwest side is where the yeah. highest penetration is right now. So mm -hmm. once we get done with the ring, if you guys still want to do that, we can change sequence. Whichever yeah. you guys tell us to do. Just wherever's, wherever their people are, let's get them signed up. And you're about half done on that, so when's the ring going to be? How, this been, how long have you been doing it? Uh, two weeks. So, end of the month or so, you'll be ready to turn up And then it uh, all depends on how we're still working out the, um, the backhaul meet points to the outside world. So, once that's done, and then we know we've got connectivity from the outside world into the new hut then uh, that's going to make us feel pretty good about their inside plan construction piece of it, the rack and stack, the electronics. Keep that going in uh, at the same time as the outside plan is going to. 
every time I see one of you guys trucks around town, I'm just excited. So thank you for all you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and my thank son's you. pumped because he's like, "Hi, oh, my friends, can you come over and play Roblox together?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Huge snags. We have other special meetings. You know, for something to have. Them, I think. Yeah, we're we're have them. Okay. All right. Let's go to the VMCU portion. Old business status updates on partnerships. Okay. So far, the partnerships that uh, we yeah, have. Fire, pardon me. Do these guys need to stay? Or? Well, I wanted. Uh, uh, <coughs> yeah. Actually, for, for this part, this, uh, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Matt needs to stay yeah, for sure. Yeah, the rest of you guys yeah, want to go out and uh, get some hot stuff done. Go do some work. Yeah. <laughs> you guys take care. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Uh, we do have the CFU uh, head end contracts done. Those have been filed with the state, and, and we got our first invoice from CFU for part of that equipment. Uh, and the consortia agreement is done, which is the uh, regulatory stuff for the phone system that goes above and beyond what IMON will be doing initially. So there's uh, a number of them under review. Uh, the IMON billing's under review. I think that one's very close to, to be able to go out the door. I guess. I was a little concerned on uh, the deadlines if you wanted to make changes or, or cancellations and it's only a two-year contract to begin with so uh, I'd like to know from them what are they switching to and let's see if it's something that uh, would work for us otherwise we're looking at uh, probably what other muties have done and, and uh, going with innovative sy systems I think or solutions is one of the options that does everything they'll do the, the electrical the telecom water sewer the whole works so then the uh the other two with i'm on that are still looking at is the video transport and the internet slash transport and uh that's one that that's why i wanted matt here was uh that the location that i'm on has been giving us has changed two or three times right now as to where we're going to look up to them and uh i think it's getting closer to town and why those didn't come up initially uh, which is all saving us money. We're not having to run half a million dollars out on the west side of town with two lines. And then we had a conference call with Imon and Wynn because we wanted to make sure, and this is one of the reasons why I wanted Matt here, was do we have two separate independent routes so that uh, we have the reliability that we're looking for? Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, and that's, again, the true diversity is what you guys need, right? So whether they're two spots no matter what as long as they're not close together physically and then on the same path sheath wise and the same circuit right that's that's a big deal for you guys is service so right, right now both wind and Imon is actually in town now one's on the south uh, side down by the cafe and then the one is just a block and a half north of there now I'm still looking at verifying if there is true diversity same so the restaurant and the rec center or the roller rink I think of the other two locations roughly and this happened last week so again it does to Tom's point the more we gain information the better we can help save you guys money but still have a good a good network and I don't know why they didn't come out with those initially uh, would have saved us probably two or three weeks of trying to figure it out but that's where we're at so then hopefully uh, those will get okay so so you're absolutely what you're trying to confirm is that one's down no one. Exactly. Yeah, yeah so one's going to be connection with wind, even though you only have the one provider provide the video, you know, and the voice, but at least the internet part of it, right, would still be one with wind on a separate path, you know, all the way back all to way back wherever, to wherever, yep. Where they come from. Not just out of Vinton, out everywhere. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Doesn't mean halfway in Shellsburg or something. Exactly. You refer to those as hubs. 
Uh, they're called meet points, and then uh, then you got pops, point of presence. Meet so point. you got any acronym you want to use, but uh, back to the meet point. Yeah. So they're not on the same meet point. Right. Yeah, and I'll. Uh, there's a number of uh, municipals that's on this head end for the the television with CFU, and Bellevue is one of them. And, and I did contact them, and they actually are using Win to get their uh, IPTV uh, to them. So. I don't know whether we asked when whether that was an option that they could provide. So we don't have uh, the TV part coming from my mom only right now. We don't have a backup for that. So uh, I guess internet's probably the most critical because yeah. people could do an awful lot with yeah. that. But Did I just hear you say the TV won't be as reliable as, as the internet potentially? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't use there's, 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 there's only one supplier right now. Yes. And that's not going to change. So see if you might be your only provider. However, from the provider, from the head end, right, two, two separate routes will still be better than one. Oh, so, and again, whether this comes to fruition or not, that's uh, But according to Wynn, when I was talking to Pete Lawless with Wynn, he was saying that was it in the RFP or not. I don't know. He didn't know for sure either. So that's what, to, to your point, Tom, is. We're basically asking what can you do now. It's not yeah. necessarily what the RFP said. Yeah. And if they can do more than what we thought, you know, that's that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, for a change order there, too, or just a nominal amount? Just, as long yeah. as it's a reasonable amount. I mean, they, they gave us a price, and I think we're only getting one gigabyte of uh, internet from them, and we're getting two with the option to go to three from, from IMOD. It just depends on the sign up and the usage we would add to later. And from a consumer standpoint, what you guys are a consumer, right? Having two providers on the transport side, not just the source, on the transport is in your favor. So I haven't finished the wind contracts and uh, <coughs> my mods on this internet transport until uh, I wanted to make sure they actually knew we had two reliable routes. The operations agreement uh, I've gone through and I'm, I'm going to be sending back some uh, comments to Corey on uh, things that he didn't have in there that uh, have to be talked about and it has to do with okay who are you using for technicians? Are they going to be limited? Bit and uh, how fast are they going to be able to respond? Because you know this whole thing is based on uh, local control and local use. Uh, that's not in there, so I want to address that so that uh, we know. I think I didn't think we said originally that they had to limit it. They were going to have enough crews around that they thought the response time was going to be better than. Well, that's what we, we need so to find out because none, okay. none of that's spelled out yeah. at all. I think it's a, in the area. Yeah. So defined yeah. area. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> but when we were pressing him on it and like pressing Corey on it, he still said, and his people, and they all came that time, they said it's still faster response time than you're going to be getting from your typical window. So whether they come from Cedar Rapids or not. So I mean, yeah. We didn't we didn't really say they had to live in Benton, I don't think so. No, but I guess I, I, I think we talked about, uh, you know, they're basically hiring our potential staff for us that after five years, if they're any good, we want to keep them on board mm -hmm. and not have this uh, non-compete clause uh, that normally they put in so that you can't yeah. uh, get the bodies. Sure. And, uh, I want to ask them about that. So. Yeah, well, I agree on that part. But I think to be in Benton is a big deal. I mean, it's be nice, but I don't think that's well, you well, well, we make our guys live close enough for call-ins now. They may not have truck rolls for this, but, uh, uh, you know, they asked us to put a, uh, give them an office and a storage spot for equipment, so they're probably going to, I, I want to know, they're going to have a guy here basically Monday through Friday uh, as a role, basically. Sure. So, okay, that's basically the uh, partnership updates. Next one that's sure. marketing. Yeah. Curtis, uh, we're on 5B. Yes, sir. Marketing. So um, <laughs> we'll talk a little bit about this in the uh, closed session discussion, but we've got quite a bit of marketing stuff teed up and ready to go. And it's going to be a matter of, <clears throat> excuse me, filling in a few blanks once the pricing is set. Um, and uh, those blanks will obviously be the numbers for the pricing, but there's also some language that we want to uh, uh, verify um, at based on the, the discussion you have on rates and, and whatnot. So, but we've got a lot of materials that are uh, pretty much ready to go. And again, I'll, I'll 
address those a bit more in the closed session discussion. All right. All right. Office interview to see. Yeah, the interview has got completed. Uh, Angie Whitmer, um, the head and works for Iman for the last 15 years, she accepted the, the job as the sales supervisor. Good. And uh, she's going to start August 14th. Good deal. And then uh, both uh, Cheryl and uh, Tennille will be spending half their day with the uh, sales office and the other half, uh, well, Tennille will be back here. Uh, uh, Cheryl may be working down in my office. So she, she's going to continue doing the uh, payroll, so that doesn't change. But she doesn't have to be here to do that. And then uh, I need some help with filing with all this other stuff that's come up. My uh, windowsill's getting piled up pretty good right now. Lori doesn't do that stuff. She's in for just a short bit of time. So uh, I would offer her to do her payroll either at the, uh, well, she would have to do it in my office or back here at City Hall uh, just because of the internet connections that we won't have in this office building until we get our fiber installed. We're going to have to use Center like for phone and uh, internet service to get started. Um, so you're saying Cheryl might not be back here at all again if she goes down to your office? And do you have she, just, or is she in Yeah, Lord she'll be using the right? same desk that Lori's using. No problem with that. No, and then she's got access to all the the uh, servers and stuff from there, which probably actually helps out on the uh, audits that we've had where Cheryl doesn't really, she shouldn't be in a location where customers can see what she's doing on some of the screens that she has. Uh, she shouldn't be interrupted, so she won't get interrupted down there. Now, Tennille will be there halftime, but Tennille's halftime position will still be available for if they want to hire another part-time person to help fill in the holes here. Yeah. Is Angie the supervisor then? Yes. Good. So she'll be doing some of the training that we talked about that. She, can, she, she might can be doing all, all the training. I don't know uh, if they got anybody else. Uh, my mom was a little concerned. Her boss was a little concerned that she was leaving so soon. She didn't think she'd leave till October. And I thought, well, you know, we got customers. We got to get on board and uh, all that. We're not waiting till October for that. So, and she wanted to come uh, sooner too. So sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, yeah. Same traveling. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's try this. Good. Um. So the and, the and these are permanent positions. You know, they're part time. I mean, so this is SAP. You've got these people hired and it's yeah. to go. Tania will go from part time to full time. And Cheryl's already full time, and Angie will be full time. So the only part time is the one if they want yeah, to fill, fill that one there. So benefits and all that kind of stuff, we're splitting on those like we do now? With well, we'll leave Cheryl's alone, uh, which comes out of the electric now, and the other two will be picked up out of the communications budget because that's primarily where the money's coming from. Half of it. Well, for both those positions. But half of the positions. I mean, they, they still have city, right? Uh, well, I was planning on just covering Tennille's, just like we did with Cheryl's, to make it simpler. And that frees up Tennille's position now for somebody else. Is she still, she's half time for us. She's half time, but she can, half -time. Well, she can do uh, payroll too. Uh, and that's something, I guess, budget wise, I don't, you know, if we want to make it. Uh, Complicated. I can talk to Chris and see how, how we do this for budgeting. And they made it simpler. You know, Gerald works for the city and us, and we pay for everything. Which we've never been happy about. So <laughs> now we're more to the well, same story. Yeah, and, uh, well, I think Cheryl was wanting to make a change uh, from just doing. Payroll well, I understand that. I just mean the relationship between us and the city on us yeah, paying more than we're getting sometimes. Well, that seems to be the, the thing we've always lived on. Right? So, so you can't, can't change it. I don't so like that saying, name. <laughs> well, just because it's always been that way, it's got to stay. It, it works to our advantage, I think, in the long run. Because, uh, 
but we have a say in their job performance. Unlike we have, I mean, the city kind of control. We've had frustrations with them, and oh, yeah, we, well, we can never do anything about it. That's kind of why I would like to have them, you know, full time working for utilities to uh, help some of that. But they're still tied in the city. Yeah. Well, they still control. I mean, we we've been frustrated many times with the help over here because we can't do anything about it. Yeah, I know. And so you I'm leave it the same way, though. Well, they'll be more reporting for the utilities than they will for City Hall. When the job review time comes, will you do that or will Chris? I will do it. I mean, Angie will help for her staff, but uh, I'll be doing reviewing that and doing hers. So we're setting the we're setting the salary. We're doing job reviews. So it sounds like we have control then. Yeah. Better than we had before. I'd say so. I kept Chris involved only in what I wanted to do and uh, he was um, he, he was okay with it and he wasn't fighting or anything. He didn't even know if they would have to hire uh Daniel's part time position to anybody. They can see what they could do. I mean, we can always modify this as we go, but this helps us get started. So the customer service office in the future, after we get internet over there, is going to be doing our payroll over there. Yeah. We have our customer service over there. Yeah. So it's going to be a autonomous entity over there. So your it's your be your baby. If there's squabbles between these gals like there has been, you can do like you wanted to do day one when you came in here to be able to step in, and that didn't work then because yeah, that would be the, my intentions. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be our attentions too. We'd sure like to see that change. And that was always about with the customer. So we still have the electric customer service is still going to be here. Yeah. Does it no. have to be? Can we get that too somehow? Well, if we skip to the uh, office space, the office space that we're looking at, uh, I've talked to the owner and I plan to put in a drop off box go through that like a drop off. I don't care if they want to drop off the electric there too. We'll, we'll deal with it uh, if they want to use that spot since there's not one here. And, then, and that, that way with these people work in both locations it shouldn't be a problem to bring it down with anybody that's stopped to put a pavement in there. Will they have access to billing information though if it's not, if the two billing situ situ systems are not the same? Well, they could have access to that stuff over there as well. The, uh, the, the billing for the existing utilities won't change. Right. So, so you'll have access to both. They'll be connected to the servers yeah, the, in a way that they can connect to well, both. Well, yeah. And, uh, well, that location, until we get our fiber in, they won't right. have. Okay. Yeah. And that's what I was we'll thinking. Is like they're, they're on their own separate server, so will yeah. they have connectivity over there to be able to do something like that? Eventually. Eventually, okay. yeah. But right now, not now. Uh, yeah. Makes sense? Yeah, right, right now, we, we, the only way I could do it is be the point-to-point -point satellite connection. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I got told yesterday from my yes. IT specialist that would be illegal. So yeah. I said, okay, well, we'll just get the uh, stuff from CenturyLink to start out with. Hope I don't have to do more than a one- or two-year contract to be done with it. Um, there we go. Oh, thank you. Have a good day. Office space. Yeah, we're we're gearing up. I get the keys for the space next to the rendezvous today, uh, and uh, we'll probably start doing some cleaning. I'm trying to get a contractor over there to uh, do some floor improvements, take some carpet out, and make it all tile, so we get rid of any potential trip hazards that may exist there now. It's possible that we'd have the one counter lowered so it's all the same height across. And then this uh, payment box uh, was something that came up new, but I haven't had good luck connecting with the, uh, the name of the guy. I think his name was uh, Wood, Steve Wood. Steve Wood. Yeah. And uh, if I get a hold of him, I don't care if he wants to work on it at night, he can do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's just some basic cleaning over there. And I, and I think the, I think Tamil's got a cleaner. She's willing to go over there and help clean up and get it ready. And, and uh, uh, I'm hoping we get that 
up in the middle of this week. I don't know if we'll have it done before Angie starts or not. If, if it's not ready, she'll be coming down and uh, working for my office initially. So that takes care of uh, the. Okay. Time to go to closed session, I guess. Uh, is there a motion to go into closed session for Iowa Code 388.9? Oh, one. 